So I'm going to talk about a scam that is happening at Whatnot. Often when you have multiple people, in this case it was the breaker and his girlfriend, you see a lot of shady things happen because you have hands. You can only see two hands, but there's actually four hands. So in this case, the camera was not shut off correctly. So they have multiple cameras, right? Multiple angles. And the scam is very simple. So they have that sheet of paper in red with numbers. People are trying to get the hit. They're trying to get the big hit. And I actually do watch this guy and whatnot. I have watched him in the past. He is shady as F. And I'm going to go over some of the reviews he has. And then, you know, you're looking for that big, big hit. And you're trying to get it. And the more people who don't get it, the more your probability goes up. So let's say there's a $1,000 card. Everyone's paying $50 for a mystery bag to try to get that $1,000 card. It is not good if that $1,000 card is pulled first or second or third or tenth. If there's 100 slots, you want that card to be pulled dead last because people are going to bid it up assuming the card is somewhere to be found. But what if the card was never there? What if the card was never there from the very beginning? So the dumbasses bidding in the beginning never had a shot at the card. But everyone thinks that the card is somewhere. Oh, you know, everyone's getting so unlucky. And oh, and now I'm going to distract. And this is my problem with two people. One person is going to distract. The other person is going to now take the card that they should have been in the hits all along and put it somewhere because they know that people are going to buy these people make hundreds of thousands of dollars guys don't feel sad for them they're not a small mom and pop business they're basically scammers i mean what's the definition of a scam it is if you misrepresent what you're selling so if you believe and everyone believes that you're selling this mystery box right this again you should never be buying these mystery packs to begin with but if the Moonbrion, the $1,000 Japanese Moonbrion, PSA, whatever, 10, is in one of these packs from the get-go, pack 1, you should be able to get it. Pack 10, you should be able to get it. Not pack 99, pack 100. Or in this case, it looks like they have 250 packs, and there's not many packs left. As you see, they crossed out in pink what packs have already been purchased. You shouldn't be buying mystery packs on whatnot. You're going to get, I mean, you're not going to get anywhere close to the value. The reason they're selling you these mystery packs is because they can't sell the cards for value. The cards, if they were to sell totally, would probably sell for one-tenth the value that they're selling to you at. Now, this is a scam. This is illegal. I think this is very interesting where they're live streaming it. There's no video. I think whatnot has a copy of the video. But it's not like YouTube where the video is published and then we can all look at it and say, you know what, the YouTube. You got to catch these guys live. You got to catch them live. Um, so again, this scam, it is the same as, you know, people picking random cards for their teams. And then somebody shuffling the card in such a way that the best teams are never hit. And therefore, people are always trying to hit the best teams. You always think it's random. Oh, I have a good chance of that team. No, you don't. You do not. So if you are one of the first, it looks like, I mean, there's only a few white spots left. A few mystery bags left, as you can actually see from the video. She's trying to figure out which one to put it in. And you are buying that mystery bag with the understanding that you have a chance at that top hit. But that top hit is not put into the mystery bags until bag number 90 is hit, meaning that if you bought any of the early bags, you had 0% chance of actually hitting it. That's a crime. That's fraud. As a lawyer, I can tell you, these guys should go to jail. But the Pokemon community and the whatnot community, hey, it's just part of the business, guys. Like, in no other community is this acceptable, minus the whatnot community, which it happens often. And, you know, other stuff and the whatnot. We saw that breaker back in the past uh, who did not want to uh, ship out the products that it sold. And he, he went on a rampage and said, I'm not going to ship. Let's uh, read some of the reviews. 
amazing people who will go above and beyond for you. And then here, the scammer don't be fooled. So that is a one-star review from uh, just uh, yesterday. Greatest stream of the best cards out there. Hmm. Clearly, Wade Packs lied about floor value. Didn't want to open packs on stream. Obvious scammer. Really cool dude. Don't buy from this guy. He cheats on his stream. Was caught red-handed. And I have proof for whoever wants it. Message me. He deleted his past show so no one can go back and look at it. I spent about 500 last week, and I'm sure he did the same. Don't buy from this scammer. I mean, I had a good time, lots of excitement. I believe the packs were said to be Japanese, maybe not, and worth what they were pay you were paying, hence the host saying, you just made your money right there. Again, that is false. You did not make your money, you dumbasses. And saying the Moonbyron is worth thousands, the Japanese Moon Beyond is War Thousands, but turns out the packs were Korean. <laughs> oh, you can't, can't make this stuff up. And for 70 bucks or more per bag, they had six or eight packs in them. A box of 30 packs of Korean EV Heroes is 45.50. Korean is basically very cheap. But also basically gambling for a possible high price slab kind of justifies the price, unless that high price slab was never put into the early packs, right? and you bought an early pack. One person won most of the top ceiling slabs, like eight slabs total, plus the best slab and the giveaway. Could be luck, but makes you wonder with the exaggeration of the pack's worth that they may have known each other or something. Who knows? That would be a good strategy, though. It was weird. Out of the $323 that I paid, I got about $80 worth of stuff. So again, that's probably much higher than other people. I did pull some cool cards, but since they are Korean, they are the least desirable. This seems common on whatnot. And then they have a bunch of like really good reviews. So at the end of the day, I mean, nobody's going to stop these people, right? Whatnot wants these people to keep selling, keep, you know, pumping, because whatnot makes money from how much money they make. They make a cut, right? It's sad, man. It's sad. Like, you told me, like, I always say this, like, when there's scams involving a lot of people, at some point, isn't, like, one of the people, like, ethically, like, oh, this is a bad idea, we shouldn't do this. But when there's two people, so when one person is doing that, I kind of say, okay, whatever, right? But when two people, uh, the guy and his girlfriend are doing it, uh, obviously his name is ic 4 and he actually has a really good whatnot rating, 4.89 out of 5. And you just read that the same people win everything. It would be super easy, right? Given the fact they're scamming anyway and they've been caught on camera scam, on live streams scamming people. Why not? Why not have your best friend who lives down the door win everything? No one would know. No one would know. And that's my problem with what not. What is my problem with mystery packs? Is my problem with repacks? You could have a hundred packs. All the good ki kits go to your neighbor next door who then gives it back to you. You don't even need to ship it to them. It's not, it is ridiculous to assume that the, these people are legitimate. Because there's so many ways that they can cheat the system and get away with it. And it looks like these people got away with it for a long time. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye guys.